everyone, it's Elena from Cottontail Cuties. Cuties, and this is a video on what you need when you get a pet rabbit. So for this video, I'm going on rabbits about eight weeks old to seven months. And um, if you have a rabbit older than that, I'll have upcoming videos and um, you can check that out later. I'll probably put a link to one when I get it up. So to start off, you will need two bowls of some kind. Um, uh, as you can tell by the title, this is a PetSmart haul also. So everything I got is from PetSmart. And if you find something that you like or have been looking for that I have here, just uh, check the website to make sure they have it where you live and you can go pick it up. So these are the two bowls that I got. Um, they might be a little big, but I figured as uh, she grows up, um, autumn uh, would be good. And um, they're fairly cheap. I think about $3 each. You could have got them at the dollar store, but since... Since I was already there, I was like freaking out. I'm like, I need to get everything. I'm picking her up tomorrow. So I just figured I might as well get these. And I paid for all this with my own money. That's a lot. Just I'll tell you how much at the end. So two bowls. Some people disagree with the water bowl just because your rabbit's hair can get in it. Well, um, if you groom your rabbit every day, it shouldn't happen too often. And you're supposed to change the rabbit's water every day also. So... The, the hair probably wouldn't get in it as much. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you can just get one of the ones that hook onto the cage also. The next item is a hay rack of some sort. I got this one. It's a, what is it called? Hay and food men feeder. Um, they didn't have any good hay racks and I don't, I didn't have enough time to buy the good ones. You can get them at like storage places that sell storage items. They're under the store under the shelf rack. I'll put a picture up. But they didn't have those there, so I this was the best next best one. I think you're supposed to put pellets here and hay there. But I might just put hay there and pellets and hay and hay and the whole thing. I'm not really sure, but it was just something because I needed to get it for tomorrow and this is what I picked up. Not for the fun part, toys. Um, you want to get toys for your rabbit to keep them entertained when you're not there. Especially if you only have one rabbit and, um, or if you have two rabbits and they're not a bonded pair yet, you're going to want toys. So, the toys that I picked up, um, I know rabbits like to, ooh, I know rabbits like to toss things, so I got this lots of loops toy. And, um, I always go online and check out reviews before I get the item. I just feel more comfortable that way and this one got good reviews and it just has like um their willow so it's all natural too you like you want to get all natural stuff next toy I got were well they're not really toys I guess they're they can go on a kebab but I didn't have a kebab so uh so you can just chew on it autumn can they're just these apple orchard sticks num num The next item is this loofah bunny all natural uh, cuddle and chew. So I guess they can cuddle it. It's sort of soft, I guess, but it's mostly a chew toy. They say these run out fast, like in a, about a week or two, but bunnies really enjoy it. So I'm like, hmm, might as well try it. And then also for toys, um, I'm going to put pictures of homemade toys. The next toy was this fun tunnel, and it is sort of big. It's like as big as my head, but the other one was kind of small, so I thought bigger is better. Um, it's just a little tunnel you can see here, and I like a little hutch, just folded in different shapes and everything. So it's two and a half feet of fun, so um, I thought this would be cool. And then this is sort of a toy, but not really. It's an essential. You're going to want a Heidi house. And I picked up this one. This one is actually huge. They didn't have a large one. All I had was a ginormous one. 
So I figured I could put um, bedding, I mean, uh, like, it could also be like a little bed area. I'm not really sure right now. And then since my cage is two stories, I want to try, it could be stairs to step on so I don't have to buy stairs or make them. So hidey houses are good because since rabbits are a natural prey animal, they like to um, hide and feel safe. You can also buy some from BinkyBunny.com. They have like maze havens and uh, all that fun stuff for rabbits. All out of cord cardboard so that it's safe for them to chew. The next thing you want to get when you're owning a pet rabbit is grooming items. I got this kit because, um, like I said, I'm freaking out because I have to pick up Autumn tomorrow. I'm posting pictures! And I was just wanted to make sure I had everything and I could um, get the better quality ones later. But it's just this know, four piece, five piece, four piece kit. It includes a shedding brush, soft brush, brist I cannot talk today. A shedding brush, soft bristle brush, nail clippers, and a tasty chew treat to distract the rabbit, I'm guessing. So this is probably the better one. This one, I guess, is just for like shine on the coat, nail clippers, and a little treat. The next item that I don't have with me right now because I cannot find it, but it's styptic powder. I'll post a picture. And what styptic powder does is, if you're going to cut your rabbit's nail by yourself, um, there's this thing called the quick, and I'll post a video on how to uh, clip your rabbit's nails when I have Autumn with me. And if you cut past the quick, it's going to bleed, and that styptic powder, it stops it, or else it will keep bleeding and you might have to take your rabbit to the vet. So it's just a good thing if you plan on clipping your rabbit's nails. If you don't think you're going to, then you don't need it. The next thing that you're going to need is bunny proofing items and I'll show a list of them. The next item that you're going to need when getting a new rabbit is a carrying case. This is actually a cat case and um... I'm using this just because I have it on hand and since the rabbit is only about nine weeks old eight nine weeks it's not gonna be that big and I'm just carrying it home with me if you're getting a rabbit you're probably gonna want a dog a dog one with hard sides or a soft whichever one you like better but probably bigger so they can stand up but this will be fine too if you needed one or if you already have one so this is good to have so if you're going to pick up a rabbit that's older, younger than seven weeks to seven months, I'm going to read off a list from the House Rabbit Society on what is good for your rabbit. So first to three weeks, you're going to want to feed it mother's milk. Three to four weeks, mother's milk, nibbles of alfalfa and pellets. Alfalfa as in alfalfa hay or grass. Um, four to seven weeks, mother's milk, access to alfalfa and pellets and then seven weeks to seven months, unlimited pellets, unlimited hay, plus the 12 weeks below. And um, and until six months of age, I believe you can feed your rabbit alfalfa hay, but you're gonna wanna probably mix it with regular hay also. In 12 weeks, um, you're gonna wanna introduce vegetables one at a time, quantities under a half ounce just to see if your rabbit is okay with it. So any rabbit that is under 12 weeks of age, um, you're not going to want to feed it any vegetables. It could give it diarrhea and make it sick. I bought this um, alfalfa hay and since the rabbit is still young, I just want to pick this up just in case and mix it with regular hay, which I don't have with me right now. But this is the brand of Oxbow. I heard this is a good brand for rabbits. And um, it has it has good information on it. And on the back, it can tell you how long will this bag last, how, he how heavy your rabbit is, and all that good information. So this is a good brand, and you're going to want hay, unlimited hay, when getting a rabbit. Also, when getting a rabbit, you're going to want pellets. And um, I don't believe 
pellets matter for rabbits ages you might want to look that up just in case um, if you have a question PM me and I'll answer that because my mind is going cuckoo right now it's kind of hard to think but these are from the brand KT and they are premium alfalfa free Timothy fiber diet so they're Timothy pellets it's a big bag and it's mighty heavy so treats for your rabbit are good to have if you're going to be bonding with your bunny or rabbit and um, Simple Rewards by Alex Bao is a good brand um, Alex Bao always has this logo with them if you're were, uh, wondering about that and treats are good like I said you want now for vegetables you obviously want this for rabbits over six months of age um, like I said, at 12 weeks, you're going to want to start introducing vegetables to your rabbit slowly to make sure they're okay with it. So if your rabbit is 12 weeks or older, um, you're going to want vegetables on hand. Now for litter, I actually use bedding, and this is by KT, and oh, this is phenomenal. Like, this is the bomb. Um, so for this, oh, it smells so good, I just want to stuff your head in it. It actually comes with real lavender petals that they can eat, like numb on, while they're doing their business. And um, it is small pet bedding, so I mix this with shredded paper to save money, and it works really nice. And it's scented with real lavender buds, like I said, and it smells really good. And it has like recycled paper bits in it and everything and I just love this and it is highly recommended. Now mine is a little different from other litter boxes. This is a Nature's Miracle. It's by the um it's by this is it's by the people who also do cleaning supplies. And it is a all natural pet bed, which means that you're going to have to replace it. Anyways, this is good because it provides um it has baking soda in it. It smells nice, um, not not like good, like pretty, like vanilla, but it smells good, and it blocks out odors, and um, it's a, from a good brand, so I trust it. And uh, the only con about it, I guess, is its height. It's not very tall, and it's not very not doesn't really have a lot of corners because rabbits like to go to the bathroom in corners. But if you put hay by the litter box, you are um, guaranteed to have better litter training. And last, but certainly not least, is cleaning supplies. My, I get all mine from Nature's Miracle, and they sold out of um, the spray, and anyways, but if you're going to look for cleaning supplies, just go by Nature's Miracle and read what fits best for you. This is um, Odor Eliminator and it uh, also cleans and it's odor free. Some come in like, um, I guess, orange orange smelling stuff like that. But you're just gonna have to wanna look for yourself and what you like. And that is basically all you're going to need when you get a rabbit in my rabbit haul from PetSmart. So please like or dislike this video. Um, have some comments. If you have any questions, PM me which is personal messaging, um, just go to my channel, hit the about tab, and there'll be a message button. And I hope you found this video, <laughs> and I hope you found this video useful. Bye!